So I focus on uh, video games and race um, in my dissertation work, but kind of more generally uh, cultural studies of digital media, race, gender, sexuality, power. Um, and I was really drawn to that uh, because I began graduate school as a British romanticist in an English department and quickly realized that um, I didn't have a stake in what I was doing in a way. I didn't feel invested in it or that I was accomplishing what I wanted to accomplish and started reading cultural studies and really getting engaged with what was going on in that kind of work and wanted to do that that kind of work and had lifelong video game fan and had been playing video games all my life and realized that there was a sort of gap in our understanding of video games and that it, there was a bit of work on race, a lot of work on race in digital media, um, but just a bit of work on race in video games. And I wanted to kind of understand um, how we understand race through video games and video game cultures. Um, so then I just, from the first year of graduate school, I kind of took this on as my project. How do we understand how race functions within video game cultures? I kind of discovered that there's a problem of literacy here, that the funding authorities and maybe the public at large don't understand quite how video games make meaning or where the power of them kind of resides. And I hope my work, in a way, can sort of teach us about these this sort of apparatus of meaning that, that, that video games offer and kind of build literacies within my students and within the general public. So we get better games out of that, we get to gain a better understanding of games from that. Yeah, I mean, the, the greatest impression is I've, I've participated in other um, kind of institutes and gatherings of scholars and, and junior scholars and a lot of times there's a fracturing and sort of cliques form and little clusters form of, of scholars with similar interests. What was really kind of extraordinary about this week was that didn't happen at all. That it was a sort of cohesive group of, of people who all have a sort of diverse um, body of work and all kinds of different perspectives. But we really formed this sort of cohesive group that I feel is, is um, you know, thought through a lot of difficult problems and I can really see moving forward using this group and my experiences here as a kind of touchstone in my, my development in a way. Um, and that's been really different. And that's kind of what made the biggest impression on me, is how this group formulated and the kind of ideas that gestated here felt very sort of cutting edge and really propelled me forward and clarified um, who I am as a scholar. You know, so, I'm from a cultural studies sort of theory background, textual analysis. It's very different from most of the people here. Um, and I'm a humanities scholar. And kind of getting thrown into this group of people who aren't really that um, sort of defined who I was and what, what was at stake and what I do. Yeah, there was a, a kind of series of events. I came into um, the institute having written an introduction to my dissertation and in that introduction included sort of personal narratives of gameplay. That was sort of a, a leap for me. Um, it took a lot of kind of confidence and I sort of fought over whether this is something an academic should be doing or whether I'm going to still be taken seriously if I do this. And I did that and then I submitted to this group which was a sort of another leap. Is to, um, you know, I, I was a bit nervous about it. I had some anxiety about it. And instantly upon arrival I got a reaction to that. People were saying, oh, that was really interesting to me. And they said, I've been thinking about doing a similar sort of thing, or I've been having this struggle with making my writing and my work uh, more personal or experimental and kind of breaking from these restrictive traditions. And there was a collection of people here who all were having that same struggle, which I would have never predicted this would become a kind of um, a theme of, the, of this week. And it really has, and it... It's, it's gained me more confidence in, in being able to take those risks. And I think um, other people now are encouraged to start pushing what scholarship looks like forward. Um, and that, to me, has been probably the, the greatest takeaway. It's just kind of organic. It didn't rise out of a particular session, but it's just sort of organic 
bubbling up to the surface of something we've all been kind of thinking about. So I saw the announcement on Haystack, um, and had always been kind of interested in what was going on here, and started thinking about how this is a this is sort of where I want to push my work into this different arena, and I want to challenge myself to take stuff that is more theory based and sort of complex and in my head and try and reformulate it in a way that could be useful, say, for students in a classroom. So I saw that announcement, I applied, I went to the, the DML conference and gave a talk kind of reformulating my work um, and then arrived here and really learned even more about where I fit within the spectrum. 